Hello and welcome to the first part of InfraWorks tutorial series. In this video, I would like us to do a quick introduction on InfraWorks 2026. From the left hand side here, we have Open, we have New, and we have the Model Builder. In this video, we are going to start by discussing on the Model Builder where we are going to learn how to create our world. Then later on, we can open it and see what InfraWorks has to offer. In case you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly take a second or two, hit the subscribe button so that when I produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I'd like to thank you all for the continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Let's get started. To create a new world, we'll first need to go with or open the model builder. So after selecting on the model builder, this dialog will appear. We are going to be required to search for a location. For example, since I'm in Kenya, if I search for example, Tattoo City, we see that we'll have it as seen. So for this one, I'd like to go to another location. If you want to search for a location we use here. So for this one, I'd like to show you some things that we are going to be using while discussing. Next, I can search for another location. This time I'm going to type Nairobi Expressway. And now with this one, we see that it will automatically go to the what you have searched. So in this tutorial, I'd like us to discuss on bridges and also highway. And the best road to use is this Nairobi Expressway, where we have also this interchange design. So this will be our focus. We are going to extract this line work and also we are going to design our expressway and also our interchange using civil 3D and InfraWorks. So once you find your location, you can go here. This option is to select the current map extend. If you want, you can draw a rectangle. So I'm going to pick on the second command, which is draw a rectangle. I'm going to pick there. And since our interest is only here where we have the interchange i can choose to draw a rectangle like this so i'm going to pick the draw a rectangle and then you can drag it like this along where you want to create the data for so i can even choose to leave it there for now you can then zoom in again now we can adjust we can adjust the rectangle to the correct size. So with this one here, I can choose to can choose to drag again like this. We are only interested at this portion where we have our loops for the interchange design, but also if we need more, you can be able to adjust the rectangle. So for example here, since we also need to see this entry, we can adjust it up to somewhere there. And once we have created or defined your rectangle, the next thing to do is we're going to give your, the model a name from here. We can give it a name of interchange design. We can leave the description as it is or blank. And for the coordinate system, I prefer working on this one, the LL84, which is also the WGS84 datum, which we use while creating online maps. This is what Google app usually use. So I'm going to select the LL84. Then next, now we can choose to create our model. So I'm going to select create the model. Okay, we see that a model with the same name I already exists, so I'm going to give this a new name of interchange design 2. 
Now I'm going to select create model. And this dialog will pop up. We are preparing your new model. This can take a few minutes. When completed, it will be available on InfraWorks Home and you will be notified by email. So once you have created our model like this by searching on the location, drawing a rectangle, then defining the model name, description, and the coordinate system. Once we create the model, we can now go back to our home, home tab, and we wait for the software to complete creating the, the files. So I can close now. Notice that we only have interchange design, and we have created our new interchange design number two. So I'm going to give it like two to three minutes for it to prepare the model and we'll come back once it has been presented at the home list here. After about two to three minutes, we'll find here at the recent, our new model design. So if we select the interchange design two, then go to the, it is under the model builder model. So this is how we can create a world using the model builder. And now we can open the, Interchange Design 2. So the software again will download the existing or required files, which will take about one minute or less. Then afterwards, we can open the InfraWorks now, and we discuss on the interface, and also we discuss on our introduction while having our road design. So this one also will take a few minutes to upgrade and download the required files. And now it has opened, as you see. Currently just give it a few more minutes to download the required files within the rectangle that we defined. So within the rectangle, you'll notice that we'll have roads, buildings, and other variations for the design. Now we see that our model is being downloaded. Currently, we are going to give it another time. Just a few more time to load, complete. Okay, we see that now our world is being created. Now also remember that this world will contain an existing surface. So if we zoom at the drawing space or model now, we'll notice that we have our interchange design here. As you can see, we can go to the top view. Let me just go to the top view, then align it to the north. So we can go here to the north. Then we can choose to. For InfraWorks, we use the left mouse button for rotating the drawing. So to rotate the drawing model, you use the left mouse button. Okay, now here we have our loops for the interchange design. Okay, we see that we have our loop here. We have our second loop, third loop, and the fourth loop. Also, we have our expressway here. Our buildings have also been defined, as you can see, and we can select them. So, For example, you see that this building can be selected, and also these other buildings. So we can go back to here at the Manage tab. We have the Model Properties. We have the Model Explorer. And we also have proposals. So I'm going to start by selecting the model explorer. And here we have our layers or what have been used. So for example, we see that we have the area of interest. We have decorations. We have city furniture. We have transportation, which includes bridges, fires, guiders. We also have utilities, vegetation. So what I want to look for. I like to look for the buildings here and the structures, and we can hide them so as to save the memory. You can make them invisible from here using this bulb icon. So by doing so, all our buildings will be hidden within the model, but they will still be in the, in the drawing. So with that, let us just briefly go through the interface. So we have the model explorer here. If we drop at the model, Notice that we have the model properties. Go to model properties. 
which is also the first command here. Here we can set our coordinate system. We can also set give the settings for the terrain, time, and the road standards. For the country kits, I can drop, then I can choose to select the country kits that you have or are present within the your computer. So next we can hit apply with our country kits added. I'm going to hit apply. So remember that changing the content packs will generate the entire model and all country kits will remain installed, but only those selected will be usable in this model. So remember that I've selected the Norway, UK and US country kits. And I'm going to explain what the country kits entail. So for that, we can then give it another moment to load. And the model will be regenerated as seen. So I can press OK. Next, we have our proposals. So for example, if you were to start to design, we can drop here Sorry, at the proposal or we just use here the proposal. Then we, t we type a new proposal. Like now, for example, the proposals, we have the master here. So for this one, even I can choose to close the model explorer so that we can view our proposals. So for the proposals, we will be needing to add here. Like for example, if we add a new name, we can give it a name of road. For the proposal, then OK. We, we can give it a moment. Now, you'll notice that we are under the proposal of road bridge. This is like a save point while creating your design using InfraWorks. So if you drop, you'll notice that we have the master and the road bridge. If we choose to design or create roads, it is important that you set up save points or proposals that can be used to revert or go back to a certain step while designing. So for that one, you can still proceed with the interface. Next, we have the content. Here we have the data sources. If we pick on it, here we can manage or show our data sources. For example, now here, you see that we have the data sources for buildings, land use, ground imagery, road, terrain, and water areas, or for example, rivers. Next, we can proceed to the next command, which is style palette. If we select the style palette, we can be able to manage or edit our styles. For example, now we have our catalog editing. You see that if you go to example 3D model tab, we'll have now go to building, furniture. Okay, we have them created here. This is for the catalog editing. We also have our bridges. Let's go to have our barrier coverage for the terrain. Our coverage was the rectangular which we, we used while defining our, our model viewer. Okay, we have bridge here. So you can choose to select the abutment, deck, guider foundation or anything related to your bridge design. So for example, if we select on deck, notice that we have this bridge deck. And if we double click at the parent, we'll go back to the main folder. So that is for the style palette. Okay, here under the proposals again, we'll see that we have this dialog, which will show us even our grading areas parking areas, pipeline, railways, right of way and roads. I'm going to go to the next tab, which is the create tab. And from here, notice that we can create our component road. We can also do a planning road and we can also define a barrier. Under structures, we can be able to design bridge, tunnel, and also buildings. If I drop at the structure, Notice that the same commands are provided here while one if you drop at the drop down list. Next we have the drainage. 
we can create our culverts, pipes, and also do our pipeline connector. So again, if we drop, we have the same commands, but this time we have another one which is drainage network. Next, we have the environment, and under the environment, we can be able to add our city furniture that includes traffic lights. We can also be able to add our point of interest, parking area, parking lot, parking row, grading area, river, water area, parcels, and the rest as you can see on this list. Okay, that's for the environment. If we drop, the environment is long. It contains a long list. We can go to the next tab, which is analyze. If I go to analyze, we can analyze the profile for optimization. We can also analyze the corridor optimization for the horizontal alignment. We can view our traffic simulation. And for structures, we can do a line guide analysis that will perform analysis and design checks on bridge. We can also do a grillage finite element or hybrid analytical model for the analysis of structures. We can also analyze drainage. For example, we can analyze the watershed. We can also highlight the drainage and we can also size drainage network. Finally, we have the present or share tab. Here we can be able to do our animation for the traffic simulation, and we can also be able to export our work as an IMX to Civil 3D. So if we drop here at export, we can select, we can choose to export as IMX, and this IMX format can be used to open this drawing back to Civil 3D. So if I zoom at our drawing, then now we rotate. Okay, if we now rotate, you notice that the software is intelligent. It has already placed our expressway and the other roads as per their heights. Okay, for this interchange design, for example, this, you'll notice that, let us just zoom here. Okay, let us zoom okay let me zoom like this okay notice that this road is at the lower level and we have this entry which leads to this upper road this is a for a fast link or loop for this one again it is at the lower section we can create this one and it will come up to this upper road section and also the same will apply to these other roads. So this has been part one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. In case you're watching this channel for the first time, take a second or two, hit the subscribe button so that when you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I'd like to thank you all for the continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. So this has been part one of the introduction to InfraWorks. You'll also notice that we have our existing surface here. That's what we are able to view our elevations. And from here, the next step, we are going to discuss how we can create or extract our roads from here. Also how to create new roads, how to add pipes and culverts, and finally, we are, we are going to discuss the InfraWorks in the complete package. So this has been part one. In the next video, we are going to start by creating our component and planning roads. And also we are going to be discussing on bridge and drainage design using the InfraWorks. So that's it for this video. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That's it. See you in the next one.